how y'all doing? I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr. here, Random Thoughts and Observations. And I want to tell you a little story, but before we get started, I want to have a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for this day and allowing us to be together. Thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for all that you've given us, everything that you've done for us. Please watch over us, guide us, direct us, and keep us safe from all harm. Bless our YouTube audience. Thank you for all of our YouTube audience. It's in Christ's most holy and most precious name that we pray. Amen. Now today I want to tell you the story of the dog collector. Years ago, right after I um, started working for one of the local finance companies, or finance companies as they were all, uh, called locally, uh, I was sent out to chase a gentleman that, uh, unbeknownst to me, had been a problem for just about all the finance companies in town. Um, I'm going to call him Arnold. Well, they sent me out to Arnold's house, and I looked, and there were signs all over his fence that said, No trespassing, and beware a dog, and keep out. I thought, Oh, well, this is going to be different. So I looked around the yard, and I didn't see any dog chained out, and I thought, well, that's a good sign. I opened the gate and started toward the front door, and uh, got on the, the front porch, was standing there, and I knocked on the door. Boom, 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 boom. No answer. Another boom, 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 boom. You got that collector knock where you know that they hear you. And uh, no answer. And I was pretty sure that Arnold was home because his vehicle was there in the yard. And uh, then... All of a sudden, his pit bull jumped up on the porch. And his pit bull was dragging behind his great big old chain, you know, like loggers used to drag logs out of the woods when they're pulp wooden. And uh, the dog jumps up on the porch, and I was scared, you know, just adrenaline shot all through my body. And so I stomped on the porch, and I said, Get out of here, you son of a... And of course I filled in the rest of the sentence. Well, now Arnold's on the other side of the door listening to all this, and he thinks I say, Get out here, you son of a and so he comes out and he's loaded for bear he's ready to fight he's got both of his uh, fists clenched up he comes out the door and he runs right smack dab into my chest now I'm braced because of the dog so I'm you know my adrenaline's at high alert, alert and I have the dogs right there and I'm braced for impact and Arnold comes out and boom now Arnold was about five foot one very muscular built and I'm six two six two and a half and uh so he bounces off my chest because he wasn't expecting me to be right where I was. And like I said, I was braced for impact. And he looks up and he says, Sir? And I told him, I'm from a finance company and I need to talk to you about your account. And what I understood later was that uh, he had been avoiding all his finance companies. He thought, well, that uh, nobody was going to come out. He changed his phone number and he'd been taking the money, putting it uh, aside, figuring, well, if they ever do catch up with me, I'll just pay it off. No problem. And maybe they'll forget about me. And that's what he'd been thinking. Well, I talked to him. I told him about how far past due it was and that we needed to get it uh, caught up as quickly as possible. He went inside. He got the cash money, brought it out to me, counted it out. I gave him a receipt. And I went on to call it a, a, several other places where I needed to uh, talk to people about their accounts. And I got back, and my manager asked me, he said, what did you do to Arnold? I, said, I didn't do anything to Arnold. She said, you must have done something, because companies keep calling all day saying that uh, Arnold's come in and paid his account off and said it was because of the guy from over there at finance company. And I said, I didn't do anything. Well, what it was, was he was just so surprised that came, somebody came to his door. And another thing, back then, and maybe even today, um, collection managers would get hired that would say that they were going out what we called field, field calling or chasing, but really they weren't. They really weren't going to see the people. Well, I went to see all the people because I figured that was my job. But these people would go and they'd uh, act like they went out and they'd come back and say, man, I didn't see nobody. I didn't talk to nobody. Or they went to one house that they knew the person wasn't going to bite their head off. But quite frankly, if you treat people like people, eh, they're not going to bite your head off. They're going to want to work with you. That's the story for today, and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed it, and we thank you. This is a Federal Trade Commission required notice. When you click on an advertisement that is displayed with this video, or just before it, we receive a small commission. Sometimes, if you merely watch an ad, we receive commission. If you purchase anything by clicking on links on any of our websites, we receive a commission as well. 
McClendon Studios is a participant in the Amazon Services LLC Associates Program, an affiliate advertising program designed to provide a means for sites to earn advertising fees by advertising and linking to Amazon. This video made possible by Manian Double Productions. Thank you very much and drop us an email and let us know at gindysvideos at gmail.com that's g-i-n-d-y-s videos uh, g-i-n-d-y-s-v-i-d-e-o-s at gindys Don't got it, you'll figure it out gindysvideos g-i-n-d-y-s-v-i-d-e-o-s at gindysvideos at gmail.com or gindysvideos at uh, forget all about it just find an email send it somewhere who cares gindysvideos g-i-n-d-y-s-v-i-d-e-o-s at at gmail.com and we thank you. Drop us a comment in the box below because we'll never get that email. Drop us a comment in the comment box below and we thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Tech support, get the AC on for a moment. That's a wrap. Mummy, get in here. It's a wrap. Looking for the mummy. Yes, looking for the mummy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Murray! Murray! Mommy's name's Murray, you know. What else would you name a mummy? <laughs>